Welcome to the Phil Family Adventures. Uh, today we're doing a little walk uh, from Widmouth to Bude, about two and a half miles along the coastal road. Got a dog with me today, so uh, I do apologise for the wind. I'll see you in a minute. few people on the beach today. Car park's quite busy. I'll get back to you in a minute when we get to the next point. So the first part of this uh, journey is across the beach, the sand bits. You've got the Barry's ice cream parlor over there, look, on the side of the beach. See it was there. A few people there. As you can see the tide's out. I do apologise for my voice, I've, uh, I've lost it a little bit. But I'll try my best. See you in a second. This is actually a marked uh, footpath, coastal path. We are right across the edge of the, uh, the cliffs, all the way from Bude, uh, from Woodmouth to Bude. Plenty of benches to sit down and relax. Loads of good views as well. As you can see, it's a well-worn footpath. A lot of people use it. You get all the, uh, the views of the sea. As you can see right at the top of the hill there, in the far distance. That's what we're heading for first. Uh, we'll uh, meet you when we get there. See, it's nice and rugged. I love my voice at the moment. It's all signposted. There's a lot of corrosion, erosion, I should say, along this coast. And there's some parts where we're going to have to walk around onto the main road to join the path again. I'll get to that point when I see it. It's, it's all signposted here. Look. In a second. You can see there just outside Wymouth, um, there's a bay view in, a nice pub, um, a restaurant area thing. You've got a nice little play park for the kids, and also up on the side of the field there, a little camping. And so it all goes around here, then it goes onto the, co onto the coastal path again. Come on. Uh, Luna! It's too busy sniffing around. He's quite close to the cliff's edge. But obviously, as long as he keeps in the path, he'll be safe. See a lot of people use this path. Those of people come down the hill now towards Woodmouth. A beautiful coastline here. There's even people down on the, on the beach here as well. Come on in. 
Oh, good girl. Who really likes an old bunker? Yeah, it looks like an old bunker. Got the old dragon's teeth there. How far was it busy? Go on, Luna. Go on. I say it's plenty of markers. You can't go wrong, really, on this path. The route we're taking, we're taking it from Wapsie from Woodmouth and going all the way to the Breakwater of Butte. And it's approximately about two and a half miles. Uh, and it's going to be a lovely day. No wind, well, a little bit of wind. Uh, no rain for a change. I'll see you in a minute. You see Woodmouth in the distance there. That's Woodmouth, not Widemouth. I say along this point, all the way, is lots of benches, plenty of places to sit down, admire all the views. Let's hope this mic's working all right. <coughs> Due to the wind, as you can see, the sea is lovely and clear. Bit of wind, but what do you expect around the coast? We're heading now is up to the uh, Cornish viewing point, just outside Widmouth, on the way to Butte. There's a free car park on top of the hill there, you can see the cars. It could probably hold about 40 or 50 cars I reckon, and it's all free. There's usually in the summertime there's an ice cream van there, so you can buy some nice ice creams. As you can see, it gets quite close to the edge. Bit of a drop there. Probably about 150, 200 feet, I suppose. Go this way. Come. This is the Cornish footpath viewing point from the here. It's a little rocks put in the so you can sit down and Admire all the views around. This little road here, a place called Upton. And further on is Bude. And you got DCHQ with all the satellite dishes there. As you can see, it's got some beautiful views up there. Nice little coves. Coves everywhere. It's a nice dry day for a change. There are many dry, dry, dry days this, uh, this month. Come here. As you can see, there's uh, some lovely rock pools down there. All right. We'll carry on. People down there as well, on that side. Hundreds of wildlife around here. A lot of erosion though, on the rocks, cliffs and that. Because you're on the Atlantic coast, there's gonna be a little bit of it.
Perfect little seat area there, let's see. Dog's having a good sniff. I say along this coastal path, there's loads of seats, loads of benches to sit on, with some lovely views. Everything's signposted, so you can't get really lost. Even me. But this part is part of the uh, the viewing point area. It's all uh, rock path, that stone paths. This is to bring up to the car park as well. Then on to our next point, which will probably be Upton. See you in a second. Come on in. I do apologise for the wind if it's there. If you can hear it, the wind has actually dropped down now from what it was yesterday. About 35, 40 miles an hour yesterday. So it's a lovely little path. It does get a little bit muddy so every so often, but it's mainly dry. Dog's enjoying herself. Hey, you Luna. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the car park. Car just pulled in now. Get a better view from uh, at the top of the hill in a minute. We're actually detouring around the car park. Oh, this lovely little path. There's loads of people walking today because one, the sun's out, and two, there's a bit of exercise. You can see in the distance there, that's where we just come from, corner shooting point path. At the end of the rocks there, end of the cliff. Loads of wildlife. One thing to be uh, be wary of in the summertime, there is a lot of adders up here. On this coastal path. Obviously keep an eye on what your dogs, if you take a dog with you, where you're going. There you go, there's the car park. There's only probably about 40, 50 cars in there, I reckon. Got a lovely view over Woodmouth. All the way out. In the far distance on top of the hill there is uh, Woodmouth Bay Holiday Village. You've also got a nice little pub and, and, pub and uh, restaurant at the top of the road um, on the way out of Woodmouth called uh, Woodmouth Manor. Let's have a nice um, carvery and that in there, nice food. So there's a Bayview Inn, which is down there as well. And roughly where that car is now, to the left there side of it. That's quite nice food in there as well. And just as I mentioned it, there you go, this Kay's ice cream van just turned up. Take a spring. There he is. 
It probably is not very cheap though. Um, you've got to make his money somewhere along the line, I suppose. There you go. And we carry on our journey. So we can see it through there, I don't know how blue the sea is. Some beautiful views. Loads of little coves all the way along. path does run along the road as well, from Widmouth to, uh, to Butte, the coastal road, up past Upton, obviously on the way into Butte. And so this, this, uh, what we're doing is about two and a half miles, we actually go from Widmouth to the breakwater in Butte, that's North Cornwall. Dog seems to be enjoying herself. Maybe he's wondering what sort of dog she is. She's a cross between a, uh, a French Bulldog and a uh, Scotty Terrier. Mother was white and the brother, her father was brown. So where she got the platform, we don't know. Unless her mother went astray somewhere. The sun shining in beauty. It's not a bad little walk, it's a little bit up and downy, but it's good. Loads of cobwebs out. Some beautiful views, as you can see. I say there's plenty of benches along here, so if you uh, need a rest, the crate spaced out, spaced out quite well. The problem is a lot of erosion. I think they might have to uh, change direction of the uh, the path soon. Just up here, it's starting to. Uh, wear quite well, it's quite close to the edge. I have a few years left in it I reckon. <coughs> yeah, there's a bit, of a, a bit of a drop down there. There's the path. Whoop. There's only four hours for a tip. Right, let's carry on walking. So I'm heading out to water towards uh, Upton now. Uh, probably about another half a mile to a mile, I reckon. If that, I'll see you when I get there. See a nice little steep bit coming up. We've got many. And a nice little valley here. A little bit damp. There's ways across. There we do. So I head up the hill. I'll uh, sweet to when I get to the top. There's no doubt I'll be out of breath by the time we get there. There we go. And then I reach the top of that hill. And the valley down there. And uh, there's a nice big cove here. Going down a long, long way. I'd say a bit of erosion, eroding the way. The old uh, 
hit a path where that might have to be moved pretty shortly, I reckon. Get rather close to the edge. It's a bit of a shame, really, but that's nature, I suppose, isn't it? Can have a beat here? There's some lovely views. Must be beaches. I say there's loads of bracken. Thistles and all that sort of stuff. There's plenty of wildlife in here. This is all these brambles. We do look after the, uh, the path very well. Give them good order. They've probably got about another uh, half a mile before we get to uh, Upton. And probably another mile, I suppose, to, uh, to Butte. 